Royce, you have the Warriors tonight, and you know what this team can do. They're down a couple of their guys, but just overall looking into it, what just has to be the main priority for tonight's game? I think just our, you know, uh, the way we come, our mindset coming into the game, our defensive, you know, aggressiveness, and then, you know, take them out of the actions that, you know, they're good at and play our game. When you look at Ben, I know he's not playing tonight, but you've played a lot of the minutes with him alongside him. When he comes into to a game and has can and push the pace like he can do, just what's the balance of now not playing with him and still trying to continue that pace that you guys have found those in those two games with him? Uh, I think, I mean, like you said, just trying to find that pace uh, while he's out. And, uh, you know, try to play fast, you know, whether he's playing or playing or not playing. I think, you know, that's to our best advantage. And, then, you know, I mean, some things you can't replace, but, you know, for the most part, it's, you know, still within us. When you guys are running with Ben like that, is there just a different energy when you guys are not just running with him, but passing the ball, guys finding each other? Is there just a different sense about that when he's out there? Uh, for sure. I mean, uh, I mean, you know, before the game, he always tell, I mean, we always know that he's going to run, you know, pass to us, especially, you know, fast break. Uh, you know, offense and, you know, even in the half court, you know, try not to run, you know, many plays and play as fast as we can. I mean, we know when you know the ball is like, you know, going to move around and come to, you you know, you'd be more prepared for the open shots. So and it's more contagious when everybody else ends up passing as well to you guys. Have, I think 41, 35 assists with that game. Like it's more contagious when when he's passing. You guys feel that same need too, right? Oh, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, you might get a good shot and turn into a great shot. I mean, uh, you know, we just looking out for each other. On the other end, I know you guys have tweaked the defense a little bit over the last month or so, but just how much more comfortable are you guys on that end of the court with what you're trying to do than you were earlier in the year? I think, I mean, as the season goes on, you start learning more and more, you know, getting more comfortable with, you know, different ways to guard. And I think just us changing defenses with our versatility helps out a lot. I mean, you got different lineups that can play different ways and stuff like that. So, Royce, as a vet, this is that that stretch of the season where it's you you surpass the halfway point, and then you're in that moment where you're looking for, to, forwards to All Star break. How would you just describe how you guys can kind of come together and still keep? Just that energy and that level up, and such a time where you're you're still looking ahead, not trying to look at not try, not trying to get too tired looking at the season. Uh, I mean, I've been here for a while, so I mean, everybody likes All Star break, but uh, I mean, I think you know, going into it, try to build as much momentum as you can, you know, get as many wins, um, and then you know, have that carryover after the break, you know, make sure you're doing things the right way, and then playing the right way as well. So uh, I mean, everybody going to the break feeling good, even better. Following up on that, it's also that point of the season where you've got the trade deadline coming up. I know you're a veteran, so this is not like the first time that you have to go through a trade deadline, but how do you keep the main thing the main thing and keep yourself focused on winning the games and doing the right things rather than get distracted by hearing all the chatter around? Don't pay attention to it. Come in, play basketball, play video games. Take my mind off of whatever I got to. No, don't fall into the distractions. On a different note, obviously, just being a back-to-back -to -back, tomorrow, Kyrie comes back probably if he's healthy. What, what do you remember most about just him being on the team and just kind of your memories playing with him a little bit? Uh, I mean, a lot. I mean, even from my first moment when I was here, I mean, being a great dude on and off the court, I mean, uh, being one of the leaders that we had, I mean, uh, just, you know, his work that the, and then, you know, the way he plays, I mean, it's fun to watch. And then, you know, just being around him and then, you know, seeing his success keep going and happy for him. It feels like a lot of players just have a love for, for how Kyrie plays. And so for you, what's it what's it about his game that just players are naturally drawn to, you think? I mean, you've seen the way he play. Exactly. That's, <laughs> that explains it right there. <laughs> I think you can explain in more detail, you know, just. I mean, it's just like, I mean, some stuff you just can't make up. I mean, he works on his stuff every day. I mean, I mean, everything. Every time he did something spectacular, I mean, it still was just like, like incredible. But uh, I mean, all the hard work he puts in and everything, and try to learn as much from him as he can. Have you been able to tell that Mikhail and Cam? I mean, earlier in the year it was a big talking point. Okay, one would go off and score 30 or 35, 40. The other, not so much in that game. But they've both been cooking simultaneously in games. Have you been able to just tell from your vantage point how much more comfortable they are figuring out how to manipulate defenses? 
Uh, for sure. I mean, uh, I mean, it's basketball. I mean, you might have one guy that goes off 30, 40. The other one, you know, might be right behind them. I mean, I think, you know, as long as everybody's getting better, having fun, I mean, we knew these guys were going to, you know, they're great players, so we knew they was going to figure it out. And it just takes time. So, I mean, Cam's a great scorer. Mikhail's a great scorer. I think just them finding, you know, their spots and times to take advantage of the defenses.